Welcome back to Vegas Valley Treasures. My name is Kenneth. I am your host, your hand model, and the crazy Vegas Valley treasure hunter. Yep, still insomnia, still awake, and still here futzing with jewelry. Um, if you remember, we, we actually saw this one a little bit earlier on, on one of the other videos. Now, this is a complete bracelet. I mean, I'm not thrilled with it. I don't like these the use of uh, jump rings as spacers. But it is complete. The problem is that, as you can see, there, there's just too much of a gap um, in here. As far so the stretch cord that was used to create this, the elastic seems to have uh, worn out. Uh, it still has give. Don't get me wrong, but too much give. So we're going to take this apart and see what we can do with recreating this so as you can see this has, has a pattern it's got two black beads and then the zebra stripe bead and it's got these silver bead spacers along with the jump rings i'm not a fan of the jump rings we might we might just want to remove those so let's put this together that way and see how it looks so first things first let's take it apart always the fun part right let's just cut it and see what we have here And since we're talking about removing the jump rings, let's separate them out. And you can see this was a, a double elastic string. But still, yeah, too much. Okay, so we've got black bead, black bead, silver jump rings look horrible, silver spacer beads. Our zebra bead. And that's basically everything that we have right there. And we're just going to reorganize it and put it on a better version of a stretch cord. So I've got this silver colored um, elastic stretch cord, and let's get to work. So we'll feed. Our zebra bead. Oh, of course, that requires me to actually get it through and work from it. Now, I'm not going to cut this off of the card yet. I mean, there's not a lot of space here. I don't have a lot left on this card as far as elastic, but I want to keep it connected here as, as my bead holder so that I can just keep threading forward until I'm ready to finish off the piece and alternating with the silver bead, black bead, and so on. And the pattern was silver, black, silver, black, silver, zebra. So we're not really adjusting the, the pattern other than just removing those ugly jump rings. Now the one bad thing about stretch cord like this is eventually it gets too frayed on the end and you gotta snip it to get a nice starting point again like what now so we'll do that and that gives us a nice starting point to work from so we got zebra bead next this should be relatively quick because there's so few beads involved and then silver bead black bead silver bead black bead finally ending with a silver bead again the the beads themselves on the cord so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it and knot it off and be done this will be a nice quick one so 
so. I always, I know it's silly, but I always go under and then triple knot after tightening it up. So I want it to be tight enough so that it has a little bit of give, but it doesn't look like it's falling apart. And we'll triple knot, as I always do. And then we'll check it, make sure it's stable, and, and snip off the ends and check it once again. I know it may seem counterintuitive to, tr to knot something like this rather than to seal it. Okay, so what I did is I pulled it taut to make sure that the, the knot was secure, nothing was moving. Now we're going to cut the, the, the stretch cord just above the knot, get rid of the ends, and check it again, and it's stable. And there it is, quick and dirty. And what we have left are these huge hunkin' jump, jump rings, which I didn't like to begin with. They'll go in my scrap bucket, and this will get bagged up and go to Grogu for sale. Nice and simple. Okay, well, as always, if you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe so that you can be um, given future videos into your feed. Uh, follow along with me uh, with Vegas Valley Treasures. Um, if you want to purchase any of the, the pieces that I have, uh, come over to whatnot.com or the Whatnot app, and I've always got stuff out for sale. Just look for Vegas Valley Treasures, one word. Uh, as always, I am Kenneth. I am your host, your hand model, and the crazy Vegas Valley treasure hunter. Enjoy your jewelry. Bye-bye.